right, it's Friday morning, November 8th of 2019. And it's uh, about 7.40 in the morning, I'm waiting uh, for the visitor center here at the Kolob Canyon Visitor Center of Zions National Park to open. Uh, all the online permits for backpacking into the backcountry were sold out online, so the other half of their permits are available on a first come first serve basis. Uh, so I am here making sure that I can be front of the line so that I can get one of those permits. I hear that Zions has had an exceptionally busy year this year, so I didn't know what to expect as far as permits are concerned, but uh, and people. Um, so far, I've been here, I don't know, 20 minutes, and I'm the only one in the parking lot. The only other vehicles here are the park rangers that just entered the building prepping for the day. So, fingers crossed, hopefully I can get a permit. See how it goes. I want to say I love this country. He's raising the flag. Freaking awesome. Well, oh, by golly, we waited in line and we got ourselves a permit. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. We've made it into Kolob Canyon, and I must say that I am freaking impressed with the holy cow. This is such a pretty sight. We haven't even hit the trail yet. Amazing. What do you think? The sun coming through the smoky air from the fire nearby. It's pretty cool. Right here. All right, we made it to Lee Pass Trailhead. We're getting ready to hike down Leverkin Creek. Campsite 10. Check out Cola Perch. Should be a good time. Look at the views. Smoky. That's crazy. Pretty. Tough to see all the rock formations with the smoke, but I'll bet without the smoke this would be so amazing. I guess if you're not looking straight into the sun, you get a you can see through the smoke. That is so pretty. All right, here's the trailhead about a hundred yards from the parking area. Looks like a pretty well beaten path. Shouldn't be too bad. The trip out of here is going to be worse because it's all downhill going in. There's our restrictions. There's the trailhead notes. We are here, let's see here, we're going to hike on down, and we're going to go all the way around, we have a spot saved for site 10. If we have time today, we'll hike up to Kolob Arch, if not, we'll get in the morning first thing. We're going to hike out, just a quick trip. Oh, would you look you there, not every trail has stairs, what the heck? I'm sure that's just right here. If they have stairs further down this trail, I'd be surprised. So it looked like the trail notes is the first little bit of this trail is all descent into the canyon. And then once we get to the creek, it just meanders alongside of the creek. Uh, the ranger at the station said that the trails stays primarily on the side of the creek almost the whole way. Um, she did say that 
to get to the the uh, camps and Camp 10 would have to cross a creek once. Um, so hopefully the water's not too cold. Being mid-November. Judging by the steepness of this trail, we're gonna have ourselves a fun time coming out of here tomorrow. <laughs> Thousand foot descent. What do we got here? That right above Christie. Oh my goodness. That is so cool. Well, FYI, y'all, this is gonna be a steep sucker coming out tomorrow because this is like a knee shaker going down. Well, looks like we got some deer tracks there. And the Utah mule deer right there. Pretty cool. Alright, looks like we made it off the hill and off that hill. I mean, you can't see it, but we came way off up there down i'll probably we descended maybe 700 feet down into this river bottom so far it looks like laverkin creek here is dry so i'm sure it'll get more wet as we go down hopefully because we got to be able to filter water <clears throat> Park ranger said that there's a spring down here called Betty Spring. She said it flows year round, so she said that's pretty near where our campsite 10 is, so I think we have that as a backup, but anyway, it'd be kind of cool to see some water down in here. I'd like to see a little bit of a creek flowing some water. It would just add to the scenery and make it cool. When we started our hike this morning, it was about 43 degrees up by the trailhead. And then that sun peeking over the hill started to warm up nicely. And then... Wow, we rounded this one corner down here in this river bottom. And it was like 10 degree swing, colder. It's like, wow. Went from sweating to really nice. obvious beauty right there but holy crap look at the size of this freaking tree it is ginormous I mean this thing is just amazingly huge This is the fourth time we've crossed this creek and the ground is just now starting to get a little moist in those river crossings. So I think we're probably gonna have to get our feet wet before we get to the end. And what do you know? It's a big layer of ice on that little puddle of water. And yet another river crossing. Cool. Looks like it got cold in the night. All right, I think we're getting pretty close to campsite number one, if I'm looking at the map. 
And man, would you have amazing view of that right there if you're at campsite one. Get the pines and the red rock. Pretty. Oh, Christy said she just saw the sign for camp one. So that's pretty neat. Pretty area. Man, another massive tree. Oh my goodness, these trees are big. All right, we're at river crossing number nine. Looks like we finally, it's not quite flowing yet, but there's a little bit of flowing water right there, but not much, it's just a trickle. So here's a camp view from campsite number three. Pretty amazing. And then right up in there is where the trail goes, right up into there, and that's where the Kolob Arch is. Can't wait to see it. Looks like we found the rest of our descent. Man, look at that scenery up on the left. There's a little patch of snow, did you see that? Snow? There's no snow down here. Oh, maybe. Wow, maybe that is snow. So we are wondering if that little patch of whatever that is right there is snow. Well, I must say, this trail gives plenty of beauty. Holy cow. This trail is beautiful. The scenery is just amazing. Oh, and by the way, this is the part of Zion you don't see from the highway. Put your boots on and go for a walk. Found another monster tree. Holy crap big tree Wow Hey, looks like we found a sizable stream finally A lizard down there How close do you let us come? Oh my goodness, this view just keeps giving. Holy, oh, I mean, look at this. It's rock formations. The sheer cliffiness of it. So cool. And you're just meandering through this little evergreen forest at the bottom. Wow. I am impressed. How I wonder it took me so long to visit this trail over the years. Lived here my whole life. Never been in Kowalop Canyon, what the heck? Man, look at that, the wishbone tree. Make a wish. And it's the view from campsite five. Pretty amazing. It's pretty hot right here though. For being in the middle of November. My goodness. We're sweating like crazy in the heat of the day. 
<laughs> Apparently this trail is good enough to hike barefoot. This trail is amazing. That's hard going in the sand right here. Looks like we found the beach or something. Whew. At least we're doing it in the shade this time. Man, look at that. It's just so amazing. It says cliff faces. The rays coming down through there. This yucca plant, that's pretty cool. Hmm. It's a big old gnarly ponderosa pine. This area's got a whole mix of everything. Got some cottonwood trees, sagebrush, cedar trees, pinion pine. It's got a little bit of everything. Pretty awesome. It looks like a little prickly pear cactus. Pretty cool. I guess if you were super hungry, you could eat it. Pull the spines off. I have to say this last woo mile in this hiking in the sand is difficult. Oh man. Oh finally got out of that sand bog onto something oh. little this is well this is better than what it's been. Holy cow it's getting hot out here. Well it says it's 62 degrees. 62 degrees, it feels like 90. Oh, oh my goodness. Hiking into a new canyon area. So cool. Check this out right there. Sun peeking over. That's <laughs> so cool. A little notch in the mountain over there. Yeah, this is spectacular. Big old cliff faces. So this is the area of Camp 7 through 10. So I think any of these in here are going to be pretty, pretty majestic for scenery for sure. Wow. Yeah, I must say I'm pretty impressed with this trail. I mean, it's just kind of meandering along the creek. Some of it's sandy and hard to navigate, but golly, it is pretty. 
I mean, there's Christy down there going through the canyon ahead of her. So neat. My goodness. Oh, and yet another cool area. Oh my goodness. Like in a forest with these brilliant orange rocks in the background. So neat. God, this is so cool. So According to the map, right up in that little canyon right there is Kolob Arch. As soon as we make camp, we're going to go hike up there and take a closer look. So this specific area right here looks like it's Campsite 9. Pretty. Close to the water in the forest, great views, amazing. Oh, and campsite eight, kind of close together. We have a campsite 10, so hopefully it's a little more secluded. The ranger said we had to cross the creek to get to it, so my guess is it's gonna be over there somewhere, so. We should have some privacy. Not that it seems too busy this time of year, because even though all the reservations were sold out online, we have literally only seen four people on the trail all day. And we haven't seen a single person in any of the campsites yet. So, I'm thinking if you want seclusion, in good temperatures, this is the time of year to come. November. Well, if you came down here in the summer, oh man, it'd be so hot. Camp 10 has its very own waterfall. And amazing views. My goodness. <laughs> Amongst the ponderosas. Ah, these are big trees. What's funny to me is that uh, when you sign for the permit, it says you must have camp 200 feet from the water, 200 feet from the river. But this is the designated site for Camp 10, and the river is maybe 40 feet away right there, and the trail just beyond it. That's funny. Huh. But she said, stay in the exit area, so here we are. Look at the views. But look at that. The view on the south. A little more on the south, look at that little pinnacle. That is cool. We're surrounded by amazing views. I mean this huh, this campsite like 10 is like pretty amazing. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at that cool rock up there. Wow.
Yeah. Wow, this is pretty. I am super impressed with this trail so far. It's just amazing. So what do you think, Con? Pulling out my chair. <laughs> We got our camp set up, we had lunch. Now, this is our camp. You can see off in the trees over there, kind of. And then, we're gonna go up here in this little, short little side hike to Kolob Arch. I hear it's pretty amazing, so go check it out. Looks like a little, blockage in the trail. This is a little side shoot up to Kolob Arch. It looks pretty cool. I'm just duck under this little tree right here. But yeah, these canyon walls. Amazing. Pretty with another blockage. Needs to deal with all these uprooted trees. I got these little overhangs up there. Tree on the end of it. That's crazy. Be careful where you step. Looks like ground, but it's not. Looks like that ladybug didn't watch where it stepped. Looks like that bee. Same thing. Check it out. Right there. So they didn't want people to slip on these rocks, so they chiseled. Chiseled steps into the rock. Pretty cool. Hiking down through this river bottom up to the arch is really cool. It's like a little maze of under this rock, over that tree, under that tree. Cool trail. Go down here a little bit. Looks like that tree caught fire. But it's still growing. Some water. Oh, just a just a neat little neat little trail. And the views up through there. So cool.
Yeah. Such a cool little hike. Down through the river bottom, up onto the hill, and down through the river bottom, and and all that above us the whole way. It's really neat. You see why there's no horses allowed back here? Yeah. It's a pretty long half mile to Kola Barch, but I don't know. Somebody's got a rock cairn there, like you're gonna get lost or something. I don't know. Is that where the cell goes? Came up on the hill to this big. Massive Pondamo Ponderosa. Oh, and there's some deer over there, too. Right up in there. There he goes. Couple of, couple of does. Yeah. But the main event is right there. That is so cool. Big arch. Big tree. some deer. See if we can't uh, take a closer peek. Uh, there they go. Looks like we found a hole in the rock. It's pretty cool. Holes in the rock. Holes in the rock. Multiple. Got these little mini If you didn't know how big this was, you'd think that was a massive cavern, like a big, huge cave. And somebody in here standing right here. Uh, pretty cool. And you can see out the other side. the end of the trail in a little bit. A fantastic view of the arch right there. Fantastic view. That little canyon right there, that's pretty cool. Looks like there's a pretty good trail right here. People have been going up and going back into there. I'm afraid if you get up going there, you better be careful because I'll bet you there's some sheer cliffs like over here. Anyway, pretty cool. Trying to head my way back down that canyon there to the main trail and camp. This is a neat little area.
is pretty cool. This rock is just weeping moisture out of the out of that layer. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I came up the trail a little bit further past Camp Tan. Far enough to see that that's the turn off to Pot Valley. The trail kind of zigzags up over there and then drops down in the other side to the other trailhead. But I wanted to come take a look at this view up in this valley. Because it is spectacular. So... Everywhere you look, it's just beauty. And then that's the big spire right there above our camp. So cool. Time to filter some water. Set an alarm. Yeah. For me, are we setting for you? Just squeeze that Sawyer, baby. Squeeze it like you love it. Need some water. Pretty fast. This new squeeze thing is like. Like the one that Mary had. Look at look at that. Mm -hmm. That other one's a little. That other Sawyer is a little slow. That's pretty fast right there. It's uh, Sunday morning, November 10th. Decided to get up a little bit before the sun so we could start hiking out of here before uh, 
it gets too hot when we have to climb that thousand foot gain back up to the road because it got pretty warm yesterday so I thought we'd start early today uh, maybe catch some of these sunshine rays on these cliff faces on our way out I'll bet it's going to be spectacular Wow, look at the size of that thing. It's kind of like a dandelion, but it looks really a little tell. different. It's huge. Look at how big it is to her hand. Holy cow. It's weird. Oh, creepy. Wow. Ain't that something? That's so weird. All right, here's our one river crossing. We had breakfast, we packed up our camp, and we're all packed up and ready to go. It's 8.30 in the morning, a little hour sooner than yesterday. So hopefully we can get to that steep stuff before it gets too hot and get back up to the truck. Cause it got hot yesterday, close to about 11 o'clock, and, and that was going downhill, mm -hmm. like Christy said. <laughs> the only people we've seen this morning so far on the trail are three trail runners. About an hour ago, but we did catch some nice rays of sun on those mountains behind us. Pretty neat. And then this one here. Oh, it's all it's all grounded out because of the. Oh, there we go. That's kind of funny. Sign says close to stock. Not the stock on your back, but stock in the way of horses. That's funny. They just left their stuff there to go hike up to the Kolob Arch. God, look at that. Sun hitting that rock just right. So pretty. Not pretty right? Yeah. And that one there. This is a beautiful place. I just noticed this little arch right there. Must be baby Kolob. That's pretty cool. Huh. Oh, these are so amazing. It's just crazy to me how they got uh, these trees just growing right out of the cliff face. Like there's not even level ground there at all. It's just like, just grew there, it's crazy. And then, you know, depending on the time of day you look at this, you get different shadows and different, and a different feel of beauty. It's pretty neat. We made it to the top of first of several hills. Oh my goodness, those are steep. I'm just noticing on the trail there's these shell casings from a. I think they're from a Mormon cricket. That was pretty cool.
All right, there's our last mile up to the road. And it's steep all the way. We gotta get up just over that little ridge right there. It's a trailhead. And it's a steep go. It's steep enough that the park service put in these logs to help prevent erosion. You see these logs in the really steep spots right there. But yeah, it just keeps going and going all the way up. All right, made it. Here comes Christy on the last stretch with stairs. Awesome. It's an amazing trail. Last mile. Last mile steep coming out. But holy cow, this is such a such a pretty trail. To oh, see the better. see the back country of Kolob wilderness. It's pretty neat. Something you don't see from the highway. And it was neat. So I'd recommend this trail to anybody who wants to do it. Because it is fantastic.